For the first time since 2000, there is no member of the Ford family running for municipal office in this city. As a result, and as you can see behind me, more people running here in Etobicoke North than any other ward in the city, making this race very interesting. Along the wide roads and major intersections in the northwest part of Toronto, believe it or not, it's actually very apparent there's an election going on right now. 16 different names running for councillor with signs of different sizes, all competing for voter attention. There's a lot of names on the ballot, but there's only one name, and that's mine, that has the experience to be able to do the job. Vincent Crisanti is a former councillor, having been elected in Etobicoke for two terms when there were more wards up for grabs. During that time, he served alongside the Ford family, who will no longer be represented at City Hall. Rob was mayor and Doug was councillor before the last election when Crisanti was defeated by Michael Ford. And he left the seat empty. My phone just went off the hook. The next morning started ringing, didn't stop. In fact, still rings, you know, very positive news all the time. People wanted me to come back. Another person who claims he had as many calls to run is Avtar Minhas. The 68-year-old previously served as school board trustee and has stood alongside the Fords as well, including the current premier. There were some unique issues which I thought that uh, me being uh, ethnic and uh, uh, so I can if I become a councillor for this area then I can resolve these issues with being, uh, being, being a, a city councillor. Etobicoke North is known for its diversity. More than 80 percent of people are part of a visible minority and many in this part of the city live in lower income areas. Him and me has two things in common uh, for the people. I am always even even not uh, I was elected as a trustee, but even uh, either as a good as, as a citizen, I'm involved with every community, the ethnic community, their social events, their cultural events, and their sports events. So he same as him. The feeling is shared by each of the many candidates looking to be recognized when voters make a choice. It's just a matter of standing out on the side of the road. I don't focus on other people. I focus on what I do and, and the services that I can offer and the issues that I can resolve and my vision for the future. Now you would hope that the number of candidates here in Etobicoke North result in a higher voter turnout than the last election. In 2018, just 35% cast a ballot.